Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to a brand new video. This is a little bit different than my normal type of videos. Uh, this is like just me talking and explaining my thoughts on Cold War and how they fucked up. So uh, if you guys like this kind of video, you know, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think about Cold War because I think it goes shit. So let's get into this. So I've written some stuff down about what, uh, what Cold War needs to do to uh to fix this game now you know it's just a beta but beta is like the rough version of how the game's gonna look not even rough version it's it like it's like an almost polished version of how the game's gonna be so for it to have this many issues i'm genuinely scared on how it's gonna be and i'm pretty sure they actually had four different companies working on this game it was sludgehammer treyarch uh i can't remember the other two but you could probably search it up and they have so they so for four big corporations to be working on this kind of blows and this game sucks so i'm gonna get into it i'm gonna basically say what i think they need to improve on and how they can make the game better so i'm gonna start with the net code in this game uh to be honest all of net code in like every cod sucks so it's not that bad but like this is the worst netcode out of all games like out of all cods so that's kind of shitty if you guys don't know what that is it's like it's like hit registration uh shooting first and still dying i've had a whole bunch of those issues throughout throughout the cold war beta and like i don't know how many times i have been getting shot while i'm behind a wall or that guy's not even aiming at me and I'm still getting shot at. Picture that I put up on the screen right now literally shows a bullet be that killed me that's not even being shot at me. I was nowhere on the screen and I died. So the hit registration is absolutely broken in this game. Uh, it's very, very, very poor. And I'm, I'm literally surprised that they did this fucking bad. Uh, another thing was you can shoot first and still die. That's a lot of, that's in, you know, a lot of CODs too, but this game, it's terrible. You can shoot like a full 30 round mag into a guy and he turns around with an MP5 and just two taps you. I don't know what it is about the net code in this game, but it is fucked. Like I, I die even though I'm like putting 30 round mags into these people. Like it shouldn't be like that. And this game is ass. If they don't fix this stuff, I'm honestly saying that I'm gonna play another year of Modern Warfare. Like this is so poor. Uh, the aim assist on controllers, it's it's too strong. Um, you know what, as a PC player, I'm not going to sit here arguing that aim assist shouldn't be a thing because aim assist should be a thing. Uh, you know, the controller players always need help to aim with, you know, two plastic sticks. So I'm, I'm all for aim assist, but it's, it's too powerful in the sense like uh, the controller players can't make their own micro adjustments. To aim onto anyone i don't personally play with controller but i still feel like this is a big issue that control players will have so it's it's another just poor design uh, i can't really speak too much on it because i'm not i'm not like 100 percent sure about controllers you know because i don't use it but that's just from what i've heard uh the streaks don't even get me started on these things these things fucking suck what the fuck someone could sit in a corner all game uh, and get streaks compared to I mean someone can run around the map get nuclears and get the same streaks that someone would that even though they went 48 to 32 like they can do so bad they can go fucking 24 to 40 and they can still pull out a chopper gunner you know like they could be you could be on the other team having the time of your life just just destroying and they can call in a chopper gunner because it's it's score streaks it's not uh kill streaks anymore which i i really feel like is fucking stupid in this game and i really hope to god they remove it because it's gonna suck for good players if you're having a good game and some asshole on the other team who did absolutely terrible gets a chopper gunner and spawn traps you guys with that like it's it's so bad now i don't understand why they added it uh sliding is another huge thing the sliding in this game is fucking broken. You can dodge so many shots just by sliding, it's ridiculous. It's, it doesn't take 
any forward momentum to slide, literally none in the slightest. You can walk into a forward slide, which is broken. Uh, and it, it, the slides are so fast to the point where it's hard to even aim onto the person because it's it's almost like your game lagged and the guy teleported. It's that fast. So that's that's also terrible. They need a nerf sliding because I don't know how many times I've died to someone who slid across my screen because I, I couldn't even see them. Uh, the name tags in the game are terrible too. Uh, the one map cartel, uh, you could tell that the name tags don't pop up at all just because I don't know how many times I've been playing and I can't see someone in a bush because their name tag won't pop up. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. Like I, I sliding is so stupid. The the hip, I mean the the name tags are stupid. Uh, the neck code stupid. Everything's so stupid about this game. I don't. I understand how they managed to screw this one up that bad. Uh, the flinch. Holy shit, don't even get me started on the flinch. Boys, they said that they were going to take out flinch altogether because it, it adds... It's basically... It's, it's unfair. Because you can have someone with better aim than you. And he can, he can be shooting at you. And because you flinched upwards and shot the guy in the head, you get the kill. So it really makes no sense. And they said that they were going to remove it. But instead, they added an attachment that reduces flinch, which makes no sense because now instead of people, you know, running around the map with five attachments and no flinch, they're going to be running around with four attachments just to get rid of flinch. So it's kind of silly to think about that they said that they were going to remove it. Then they actually added it and made it an attachment to remove flinch because now you're just getting rid of attachments someone could have used on a weapon. So there's really a lot of issues with this game that they they need to fix. Uh, I can keep going on, but those are like the really like uh, main points that I kind of just wanted to say. I didn't really go too in depth. I'm just kind of just giving my opinion because it only was a beta, so I'm not gonna not gonna grill them too hard about any of this. But it really was just a beta. But for a beta to be this bad. I don't know, man, but this game needs a lot of work. And when I say a lot of work, I, I definitely feel like they, they might have rushed it or I don't know what. But it's it's not a well-polished game in the slightest. Um, I'm kind of scared to see what else, what other CODs are going to be releasing in the future if this one was this bad. But we'll see when the game fully comes out. Like I said, leave your opinions down below in the comments. Um... I, I honestly, the beta was, it was fun, but like it was a nice change up from Modern Warfare, but it, it was, it was not good. The game needs a lot of work done to it. And I, uh, I don't know how they'll, how they'll fix this in literally weeks time from, from the beta, but we'll see. If you guys enjoy this video, you know, make sure you hit that like, comment down below if you hate Cold War and, uh, tell me if I should do more of these, just kind of ramble around. Uh, you know a game or an update or something like that just give my opinion on a lot of stuff so i think i covered everything so hope you guys have a good day and uh let's just hope they fix cold war